Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you playing DVDs and Blu-ray on Linux. And in this case, I'm using my Racha Rock 5B connected to an external Blu-ray drive. So it's already more than five years ago that I tested this with my Pinebook Pro with the Rockchip RK3399 and the Rockchip RK3588 is the successor so it's more powerful and it should have no problems playing DVD and Blu-ray so when you have an original DVD then you probably need this library DVD CSS to get around the protection copyright protection and this is the link with the instructions so these two commands and during the installation it will ask you a couple of questions about automatically updating those kind of things so once you have that in place uh, then you can start vlc assuming you have installed vlc and in this case you can see i have the dvd of the matrix Oops. Um. I'm going to keep this uh, short to avoid any copyright issues. So we say start the movie. And then it plays without a problem. So again, I'm keeping it short to avoid any copyright issues. So that's DVD. And then you can also play, let's just say, the older Blu-ray titles. That's because um, the way I do it is that I use a protection key that has been published but because it has been published then it also has been revoked uh, let's just say by the copyright protection mechanism so all the newer discs after they found out that the key was leaked all the discs they um, have let's just say this protection that they check if you're using that particular key and if it does detect that particular key then it will no longer play so that's how the uh, copyright protection with these keys actually works so all the keys that have been revoked they're all burned on the blu-ray disc itself so that way it can check uh, yeah, if it is still allowed to play or not. Anyway, I still have a lot of uh, older Blu-ray discs, so... But let's just go through the installation. So the other option is to go with make MKV, but that means that you have to be uh, running a AMD or Intel system. So if you're running on ARM, then that's probably not going to work. So the other option is, is that you install these libraries, but through the years, um, you do need to change one thing. Because here you can see that it can't find the package lib Blu-ray 1. 
so but nowadays it's lib blu-ray 2 and as you can see here i have that already installed um yeah so you need to make a directory where you're going to store that protection key and this part also changed a little bit so let's just say you want to download this key and then um, the certificate has expired so uh, it can't no longer use HTTPS but you can bypass that with uh, check no certificates so like this and then you have the protection key so let's just put in a blu-ray disk so in this case it's the original June movie that one is already quite old but they did a re-release uh, on blu-ray but that's also already quite some years ago So now, when we start VLC and we say we want to open the Blu-ray. So yeah, we don't need to see this. And we'll skip that part. Yeah, and some people joke that uh, the pirated versions are better because they usually skip all those unnecessary uh, intro uh, videos. So let's just see. So as I said, uh, the older Blu-ray discs uh, should be possible to play them and the newer ones then yeah, you probably have to use something like make MKV if you want to play it on Linux. But that means that you're simply ripping or dumping the discs so you need a lot of uh, disk storage. Uh, yeah, to use make MKV and to play your Blu-ray disc. So, yeah, I haven't seen that a newer key uh, was found and published. And yeah, the downside of that is of course that that key probably will get revoked quite quickly. Um, but I certainly wouldn't mind having a newer key instead of having to use make MKV so we'll have to see um, how this will develop I mean like in the last five years I don't think that much has changed around the situation of playing DVD and Blu-ray on Linux but you never know what happens in the future so this is all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video